Hello guys, welcome again to our YouTube channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to cook pork caldereta, a very known traditional dish stew back home in the Philippines. And here are our ingredients. Our pork cut into cube, carrots, potato, bell pepper, and for our marination, we got black pepper, onion, garlic, tomato sauce, and salt. For our cooking, we got peanut butter, garden peas, cheese, tomato puree, and tomato sauce. Also, pineapple slices, evaporated milk, chickpeas or guisantes, and for added seasoning, sweet pickle release, Worcestershire sauce, dato puti soy sauce, and red wine. Start our marination. In a clean bowl for our meat, garlic, onion, black pepper, salt, tomato sauce, our soy sauce and some bell pepper for extra added fragrance and taste just mix it in a bowl and cover for at least an hour or much better overnight the difference of this dish from our other dishes that we have featured was this pork recipe are cut into cube the same as other ingredients you can try it with other meat type as well that you wish to cook for this dish such as lamb chicken beef or any other meat that you wish to cook for this recipe let's start cooking in a large wok is pour some oil and let's start sauteing our garlic wait until golden brown to extract the flavor of our garlic before adding our onion at this point in time we can add our onion stir it on the wok before adding our dish marinated pork and add about two cups of water cook our meat Just keep stirring so that the flavor incorporated to each other or adding some other ingredients let's add our tomato sauce Keep stirring again before putting our cover and cook for 25 to 30 minutes. After 25 minutes, let's check our meat. Add our other ingredients, our Worcestershire sauce, pineapple juice, black pepper, and salt depending on the saltness that you want
our tomato puree. To thicken our sauce. And extra flavor. Just keep stirring so that the ingredients are incorporated to each other. And cover again. To further cook our meat. After 10 minutes, let's check our meat. At this point in time, it's ready to add our vegetable ingredients, our carrots, potatoes, bell pepper, peanut butter, our garden peas. I drained the water on the garden peas together with the chickpeas or gisantis. We just need the peas to be added. And our sweet pickle release for extra flavor of sour taste and sweetness. Let's add our pineapple slices. Just chop it using our spoon so that our pineapple will be equally divided into our dish. Let's add our evaporated milk for extra flavor and sweetness and creaminess on this dish. Just keep stirring. You can notice that our sauce are already reduced and thick. At this point in time, we have to cover it for another 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, we have to check our dish again. At this point in time, we're going to add our liver spread. This, this is this. this gives a liberty taste and creaminess on our pork caldereta. About 2 tablespoons. And mix well. Try the taste. Now we're going to add our final ingredients for creamy and richer taste. Our cheddar cheese. Just great. As according to you, how much you would like to add on this recipe. Over again to boil after about five minutes our dish are ready please guys continue to support our youtube channel 
for more videos to upload of DIY and cooking in our YouTube channel. And you can also find this recipe videos in our Facebook page Lutong Tunoy Abroad. For a final a taste, final taste. Okay, now our dish is ready. It's time to transfer in our serving dish. You can see the thickness and creaminess on the sauce of our pork caldereta dish. It is a very known recipe back home in the Philippines, especially for our big occasion like wedding, birthdays, christening, or even family gathering. You can try this recipe and easy to follow to share with your family and loved ones, especially on a special occasion. Thank you very much and God bless to you all. Goodbye, see you to our other YouTube videos to upload soon.